In this video, I will show you how to complete lesson five, exercise five, learn to use smart art. So sign into Jasper Active and click on lessons. And then scroll down for the fifth lesson called insert and format graphic elements. Insert and format graphic elements, click start. And we're gonna do the fifth exercise called learn to use smart art. So click on learn to use smart art and let the page load. There we go. Let's see how many sections are on today's. Only three sections. Let's click start in the middle of the page. In this exercise, we'll create a smart art diagram and then modify its appearance. I really like smart art because it makes it look very fancy. All right, so let's go to the insert tab and find smart art. It's right in the group with the pictures and shapes, smart art. And there's lots of different categories and we're gonna choose the hierarchy category. Click on hierarchy on the left. And then we're gonna click hierarchy, second row, second option. This is the style of smart art we're gonna do right now. And click okay. Will automatically load the smart art for us. So the names have been entered for us automatically. There we go. And on the left side over here, you see Nick Clausen underneath Cape Town underneath uh, Jamie Gibson, Robin Black. We're going to click the bubble that says text. And let's type London. London will be the next level. So type London and enter. And then underneath London, we're going to type or copy and paste Catherine Wilkins. Catherine Wilkins. And enter. When we press enter, it gives us a new box. And you'll notice there isn't a box on the page, but it will automatically add it for us. The next one is Kyla McGill. Enter Kyla McGill and press enter. And we're going to close this little text pane here. We don't need it any longer. So let's click the X to close it. There we go. Fancy looking chart. Let's scroll down a little bit. Word provides various designs and layouts. So at the top, we're going to go to the layout style gallery up here, and we're going to click the more button, that down arrow. Let's see what other options are available. We're going to click the organization chart, which is the first row, first option. And let's see how it changes the look of the chart. There we go. And now next to that group is the option to change colors. Let's change it to colorful range, accent colors, four to five. So it's the fourth one under colorful. That looks nice. And then in the next group, it says Smart Art Styles. Click the down arrow. And there's an other ways to customize it. We're going to choose the one called Polished, which is the first row, the first option under 3D. So underneath 3D, click the first one. And that looks pretty cool. All right, last couple steps. We're going to add some more shapes to the diagram. So we're going to click on the box that has Nick Clausen's name. And then we're gonna to go to the top left button and we're gonna choose add a shape. So underneath him, it will add a shape. Let's add the Toronto. Type Toronto with the capital T. Or copy and paste from the direction panel. Press enter. And let's click add the arrow or add shape again. So click the arrow for add shape. Here we go. And we're going to choose add shape below. Add shape below. And let's type in this other employee's name, Toby Bellinger, or copy and paste. Toby Bellinger. And type enter. And that is a really fancy looking chart. And you've now completed this exercise. So click finish let it add to your progress and click back to my lesson.